As kids, we love card games. Sharon Horn Elstrom here with a couple of fun decks of cards. Welcome to day 49 of our BU 365 Day Challenge. Do one thing every day that improves us. We're focusing this segment on emotions, emotional well-being. And today I want to share what I call a card trick with you. It's a trick that I discovered, yikes, maybe tw whenever they started coming out with these decks of cards. I guess I could grab a tub of them. I've got a whole tub sitting here of different decks of cards that I've purchased over the years, mostly from Hay House, uh, Summit Barnes & Noble, the old bookstore. Remember when we used to go to the bookstore? is where I first ran into them, and I thought, okay, well, that's a really cool idea. I can get an entire book, in many instances, summarized on cards, and they're not in any order, so I can learn the way my brain tends to work is just randomly picking up interesting pieces of information, and then I file them away in my brain where I want them to be. So all these different card decks, I've probably got a couple of dozen of the different decks now, but one of my secrets, and I wanted to share that today, I said yesterday I would share it, is that for a lot of years, I've just randomly carried one of these cards along with me as I go about my day, as I go about my business. If I've got a journal with me, I might stick it in the page of the journal. If I am uh, going out and about, I'll stick one in my purse or in my briefcase. And throughout the day, if I need a little pick-me-up or reminder of how I want to feel and how I want to be, I'll just read that card. For a long time, I just carried three by five cards with me with my goals or affirmations or something that I was learning or working on in my bag or along with me. And that led to me saying, okay, well, what do other people think? What do other people use and do? And how can I expand my personal development and personal growth? Well, I found that this was a good way to, in teeny little bite-sized pieces, absorb new material, learn new things, get different perspectives on mostly life and beliefs and, and how I felt about things. You know, we all have interesting experiences throughout our life. Some good, some bad, some really, really ugly. I've been through some ugly stuff in my life, just like most of us have. And this was a way that I could positively deal with things on the fly without really anybody else knowing. I don't think if you asked my sisters or my, my, my dad when he was alive or my mom, that they would even know, or even, I guess my kids probably know, but I don't think other people even really know that I do this, but it's kind of like a secret confidence Thing. It's a secret way to be continually improving and working on myself all the time. And it's an easy thing to do, right? It's easy to carry your goals or anything around on a three by five card or a post-it note stuck in your wallet. And just once or twice a day, you happen to, maybe when you're eating lunch, maybe when you're having a, a cup of coffee, you just go over the affirmations, go over the goals, go over the the card and think about, well, what does that mean to me? Let's pick one. Let's just pick one randomly and read it and see what it has to say. This isn't one that I'm going to do today. I haven't carried my today. You could, no, this is going to make you laugh. This is a, a fortune from a tea that I drink. You could carry that around. Maybe your fortune cookie fortune from lunch speaks to you and you carry that around for a day or two or stick it in your wallet. Uh, being a saver, I already forgot which card I grabbed. Okay, this one. Let me grab a magnifying glass and let's see what it has to say. It says, we are all working toward the same goal, joy. Whether it seems like it or not, you are all working toward the same ultimate goal of joy. You are just approaching things in different ways and all of it is working. So this is an Abraham Hicks one. I recognize it from the, the tone of the message. But I might carry this with me and when something's upsetting me, I might pull this out and remind myself, hey, Everything we do, every experience is to show us something and I'm looking for the lesson in that or the joy or the positive in that. I'm not going to focus on how it maybe instantly made me trigger a, a childhood experience that made me feel bad. So I'll carry this one today since I, I, I just randomly pick one. Now, throughout the challenge, I, I sat down with my decks, I threw them down and I started to pick out and sort by the nine areas and aspects of life in the life framework that we're talking about this year. And I thought, oh, I'll just share one a day. And it hasn't worked out that way because 99% of the time I forget to talk about it. And so that's why I wanted to say, this is something that I do so automatically that I forget to bring it up and talk about it. But it's obviously had a positive impact on my life. So I wanted to make sure that if it's something that works for you, you do it. The more we remind ourselves of the things we want and how we want to be, 
the more automatically our subconscious and all of us and the universe around us conspires to make that happen and make that appear in our life. So uh, don't be afraid to carry around the thoughts and the goals and the things that you want. Nobody else is going to see them. You know, maybe if you get hit by a car or something, somebody will see them in your wallet, but otherwise no one's going to know. And if they do, they might be like, oh my gosh, that is an awesome idea. Why am I not doing that? So it's amazing the example we can set by just the little things that we do. So our action item today is in some way, shape, or form, <clears throat> find a message to carry with you today. And at the end of the day, just share in the comments below, how did that make you feel? What was the impact of that? Did you even notice? Did you forget about it? Did you forget to do it? Be honest, because you can always do it tomorrow, right? Uh, there's no there's no right answer to start or no right time to start anything except the time that's right for you. Any questions about this, hit me up. Any uh, thoughts or ideas or if you want to know what my favorite decks are, hit me up and I will, uh, I'll share a list of them in the comments below. Some I've gotten and I've, I've been meh about, right? Some of them I bought thinking, oh, that person's a great author, great book. And then their card deck just didn't feel right to me or didn't resonate with me. Or maybe it's focused on I have one deck and it's, a, I can't remember what it is now. I don't have one of them, one of the cards here because I'm not using it. That it's focused on the negative and then it, it so it's, it's categorized by negative And then it, of course, gives you the what to do about it. But it's so focused on the negative that it doesn't resonate. And I don't use that one anymore because I went through it once and I'm like, nah, I, that was fine. That was enough. I already know to flip switch and do things like that. Other strategies we've talked about to, to, uh, climb up the emotional guidance ladder, or climb up the emotional guidance system to make us feel better or to change our physiology, etc. So I, I used it once and I don't use it anymore. I put it away. I probably should just give it to goodwill or something and let somebody else get the benefit of it. Uh, so you have to go with what feels right for you. And what feels right for me might be absolutely wrong for you at this time. doesn't mean someday the things that I recommend might be not be for you, but it might not be for you right now. And then just say that, hey, I get it. I hear it. I'll put it in my, my back of my memory for someday in case I decide to do it, but I'm not going to do it right now. And be honest with yourself and, and go ahead and be honest with the rest of us and just say in the comments, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Have an awesome day. Any questions, hit me up and I will be with you tomorrow for day 50 of our 365 day challenge to be ourselves and to improve a little bit every single day. Have an amazing day.